Hello my lovely McLoversons. I wanted to make an update video on me and my depression. I made depression videos months and months back when I was getting off of the medication that I was on at the time. And like I said in those videos, I was on medication for many, many years on and off. And yeah, it just came to a point where it was not working and I needed to go down another route. And so that's what I did. And it's been very, very trying, very hard, but I'm fighting and I'm doing it. So yeah, I have i don't know exactly how long it's been since I've been off of medication. But if you look back at my other videos, you can basically see, like, it'll say one week off. And so if you look at the date, that would be pretty much when I was just getting off the medication. So I have some really great days and some really bad days. And um, it's hard to... It's hard to determine what causes the good moments and the bad moments. So it's just like this constant struggle and it is incredibly hard. But I've been doing it with no antidepressants, no medication for any type of a depression or seizure type of medications, which I was also on a lot. And there were some points where I was so beyond overly medicated. And then there were some points where I was on medication because the doctors were just trying to help with symptoms that I couldn't help myself with. And I've come to the realization that depression is a battle that one must fight on their own, mainly. That does not mean that there's not help from outside sources we shouldn't use because we should use every help from every outside source we can find that is not negative, that is positive and beneficial to our health and well-being. But that's not saying that we don't have to fight to fight ourselves, that we don't have to do a lot of the research ourselves, that we don't have to trust our own research and our own... We just have to fight it ourselves. Let me just put it that way. It is something that people have to take into their own hands and really fight. It's a fight for me. I am, um, whatever I'm saying is about me, don't, if this is not for you and you see this and you're like, oh, you're so wrong, this doesn't work for me, it probably doesn't work for you. You know you, I know me, and this is for me, and what works for me might work for some and not for others, but that's that. So what I have been using for my medication, which is natural medication, I call it medication because it is very, it soothes me, it helps me, and that's what medication is supposed to do. It's supposed to help you, it's supposed to make you better, it's supposed to soothe you. It never tends to do that for me, but that's the whole purpose of this whole taking medicine, to feel better, right? So, taking medicine for me before wasn't making me feel better. Now what's making me feel better is keeping a really good mental focus. It's so hard, it is so hard because, like I said, there are these fights between good and bad and all this other stuff and just so much energy, it's so hard. But to really keep a strong, positive mental focus is is something that is a needed. It's very needed. Um, another thing for me that I've been using, and I'd have to say this would be probably number one on helpfulness. And I notice that when I don't do it and when I don't stick to it, I feel worse. And I notice a decline. I don't notice it right away. I just notice it after a little while. And then I'm looking and I'm saying, what are the differences? And this is the difference. Prayer. For me, prayer is life-saving. I have had people fight with me on my Twitter account about that. I have had people tell me that it's a fairy tale, that God is a fairy tale. That is very heartbreaking for me to hear. Um, if you have any type of comments to that sort, please don't leave them here. I just don't want to hear them because I don't need to hear them. Save them for someone that might need to hear them. Don't. For me, God and Jesus and prayer have been life-saving. I say that in literal form. It has literally been life-saving for me. Without prayer, without God, without Jesus Christ. I'm not saying church and I'm not saying religion because those two things have not been life-saving for me. But my faith in God and Jesus, my prayer and my reading the Bible has grounded me so much. When I stop doing it, I lose my ground. And whether that's coincidental or in my mind, I don't believe it to be so because I feel it in my soul and every part of me. It's very overwhelming. And so I am picking that route because that route seems to be the most positive route. It seems to me to work the best that when I'm feeling down, when I'm feeling depressed, when I'm feeling like I just want to give up because it's just unbearable, the pain physically is unbearable, the pain mentally is unbearable, it's just emotionally 
physically and in every way unbearable. And when I pray, I feel enlightened. And when I mean pray, I mean prayer. pray from my heart. Talk to Jesus. Talk to God. And read his word. And it is just, for me, truly life-saving. But that's not what this whole video is about. This is not just some God, let me preach to you. This is just my personal experience and what is working for me. And that has been number one. I would have to say, number two has been exercise. I have not been an exer I've never really exercised too much. I'm active. I'm an active person. I don't consider myself to be incredibly overweight. I have gained some weight. I quit smoking a few years back. So I put on a good 15 pounds when I did that, which was whatever. I would rather put on 15 pounds and smoke cigarettes. That's life. But it's, I'm not an exerciser. I don't eat a lot of food, but I can eat a lot of crap food. So I don't eat an abundance of it, but I eat shit food. So what I did was I've been trying to stop eating this bad food, really just like fast food, pizza, not saying that once a week I won't get a good Italian pizza and have two slices or, you know, treat myself every now and then. But what I'm saying is that I was eating this crap like Little Caesars Pizza and McDonald's and Taco Bell and Dunkin' Donuts bagels with everything. Just bad stuff. And, and I wasn't really eating very much of it. Like, in a day I would eat a cheeseburger and a bagel and that's it. Like, that's so there's no nutrition and it's all fat and it's really bad for you. And it does clog your mind. It does mess with your body. Our body is craving pure things. It's craving good foods. And it's so hard enough as it is to get good foods nowadays. Let's be for real. Even half of the healthy foods, the vegetables have crap on it. They have pesticides. They have this and that. It's not even like... So we just got to try to eat as good as we can. Even though we have to eat these pesticides. When we have, It's better than eating like pesticides and garbage. So I have also been really incorporating trying to incorporate this is a hard thing this is like my I've been doing one thing at a time so like this is like my next thing that I've been working on is incorporating good food because our body wants it it needs it our mind needs it and wants it and it makes us feel better it literally really does it's been proven and I hate to admit it because I want to eat shit food I want to eat the donuts I want to eat this stuff so I don't want to sit here and admit that eating this crap will cause me to feel worse about myself in many different ways for many different reasons. It will make my depression worse. It actually does mess with all of those issues. Like, it just does. I'm sorry. You disagree with me? That's fine. I, this is what I believe in. So, yeah. Eating better and exercising and religion. Well, not religion. No. Not big on religion. Faith. Spirituality. Jesus Christ. That is my medicine right now and you know what if I put it all together if I'm exercising if I'm eating right and I am taking at least 10 to 15 minutes a day to read the book to do something towards God to read I have to do something it makes a big difference in the way I feel so I'm fighting it that way but then I also have days where I just want to die like literally I just want to die because I'm so depressed my body hurts it aches my, I get a lot of pains in my hands, I get a lot of, you know, I think it's all from the nerves, because I feel like it's the nerves are hurting, and I think that that's because my mental state will get so razzle-dazzled that it will cause my body to become into pain. It all works together, and I'm really, really, really susceptible, is that, I can't, whatever, I'm really, like, prone to, I can feel energy, I'm, I pick up a lot of that. If I'm around someone who's not happy, I'll pick up their energy, like a sponge picks up some water that you throw on the floor. Like, if you take a bucket of water and you throw a sponge into it, it'll soak up as much as it can. That's how I am around things. So, number four, after spirituality, exercise, and food, is staying away from negative sources. I have to surround myself with God-loving people, I had to surround myself with positive people. I'm not saying I don't have anything against people who don't believe in God. If you don't, that's your choice. I feel bad because I feel this is his world and we ignore him and don't obey him. We suffer because it's his world and then if we obey him and do what we can for him, we can take on a lot more happiness because it's his 
it's kind of like, you know, when they say the mom, if the mom's happy, everybody's happy because if you have, you know, your three kids and your mom and your dad in the house and mom is pissed off, guess what? Your three kids are pissed off and your father's pissed off and your neighbors might even be pissed off because everyone's acting a mess. The person at the grocery store is probably mad at you because you gave them an attitude and it is this continuous cycle of crap. And that is kind of how the world works. We're all in tuned and so staying away from negative any type of negative is just crucial. So I don't know. This is a lot of blabbing about how I've been feeling lately, but I figured since I did make those videos before and I've had people comment on them, I've had people write to me about them, and I, I, I'm I, totally here for anybody who is going through anything of this sort. I've been dealing with depression and anxiety, phobias. Um, I've been, I'll be honest with you, I've been abused, I've been molested, I've been raped, I've had all kinds of horrible things happen to me, and I have... I am pulling through it. I am fighting through it so I can understand and relate. So if there's any of you who watch this and you ever need a friend or you ever need someone to just vent to, even if you just want to vent and you're like, please don't even write back, just like, or just write back and say you, I read it or I can do that. Like I'm just, because I understand how important it is to have people there for you and to have help. But I also know you have to do most of it yourself. Not contradicting what I said in the beginning. But yeah, I definitely want to make more videos because they make me feel really good. I love making videos. I love, com I love, love, love meeting new people on here and talking to people. I think it's wonderful, wonderful. But it's not even just for that. Like, I want to make the quality better because I'm a perfectionist and I just, everything that I do, I want to do 100%. With the quality of this is not anywhere where I want it to be, so it's not... Oh, I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable, but that's also a good thing because I need to be out of my comfort zone and that is why I make these videos because it is very hard to talk about things like this and share it with the entire world. But I somehow feel the urge and the need to. It gets me out of my shell. It's very, um, I don't really talk to anybody about it. I think the only people that know from me telling them, if you know, if my friends know I make videos, it's because they snoop too much. And if you're watching this and I actually personally know you and haven't told you about this because the only person I've told is like two people and I don't think they're going to be looking up my videos to be honest with you. But if any of my other friends were watching this, don't let me know because I'm not ready for that. Um, just be a snoop and, and keep it private because you should be embarrassed that you snooped this much on me anyways. <laughs> love ya but that's that um yeah and so yeah I want to try to make more videos I want to try to get them a lot better better quality I'm gonna get a better camera you know try to learn how to edit and try to do all that if anyone has any suggestions any critical uh, construction now I can't talk if you have any constructive criticism for me I appreciate constructive criticism um comments and questions and anything of that sort throw them at me I'm an honest person. I really don't BS. If there's something I'm uncomfortable talking about, I would just say I'm uncomfortable speaking about that. And that's that. I honestly wish everybody the best. My lovely loversons, I love you so, so, so much. Love this YouTube. Love making videos. As uncomfortable as it is, as inadequate as I feel, I'm going to continue to do them because I think it's good for me spiritually and mentally. Physically, I don't know if it's really good for me. It might be. I don't know. What do you think? Talk to you later.